Today, we're gonna talk about exactly where to save or splurge your money when it comes to your interiors. My name is Bilal Rahman, and you may know me from TikTok as your favorite luxury interior designer. And today, I'm gonna teach you exactly where the fuck to spend your money. Let's start with the bed. So the bed is my non-negotiable for a multitude of reasons. First off being, we spend more than half of our life there. We work there, we eat there, we watch TV there, we do the nasty there. It is one of our favorite places that we experience on the daily basis. And so for that fact, you want to invest in this piece. Get a high quality bed frame and a high quality mattress. For the mattress, your back will thank you because you're not old as shit, but your back will feel old as shit if you have a cheap mattress. And for those of you who are old as shit, you need to salvage what the fuck you have left. So a good mattress is the way to do it. And a cheap bed frame, that creaky, cracky ass sound that you're gonna hear in the middle of the night, nobody wants to fucking hear that shit. Why? Because it removes the luxurious aspect from any design. And here at Bilal Rahman Studio, we focus on elevating everyday experiences, not taking away from them. Not to mention that if you invest in a good bed frame and a good mattress, you won't have to replace it for years and years to come, as opposed to getting a whole bunch of cheap pieces that you have to replace every year, year and a half. So instead of wasting all this money throughout the years and having to deal with lugging those fucking boxes from Ikea home, just buy a good bed frame from the get-go and move the fuck on. Now jumping ship, here's what you shouldn't spend your money on. Accent tables. This is something that I tell my clients all the time. Unless it is an accent table that you're going to be using on a daily basis every time you sit your fat fucking ass on the couch, do not waste your money on it. Because an accent table is something that is meant to just look pretty or hold a lamp or hold an accessory. That is a place where you can save a lot of money and instead of spending money on that, pull that money and put it into your larger investment pieces. This is single-handedly the most important thing, not just for you, but also for your guests. The sofa. Your sofa is such a huge piece in your living room that it is worth the investment. This is where you have breakup tears and you binge watch Scandaval. You're a worm with a mustache. My cards. Yes. And you have girls nights and your pets are relaxing and you're having sex on this damn thing, whatever the fuck you're doing on your sofa. It is so important for this piece to be of high quality because you want a piece that is going to be ultra comfortable after a long, hard day at work for you to come back and relax and unwind. A cheap sofa is never gonna do that for you and instead you're gonna regret it every single time you sit down on it. Not to mention that when your guests sit on it, you want them to be wowed with both the style and the comfort. Hide your coins and run for this one. Accent chairs. Accent chairs are definitely the place to save. Do you remember that room you had when you were growing up that all the furniture was covered in plastic and your ass wasn't allowed to sit on anything? Think about that when you're thinking about accent chairs. The accent chair is just meant to sit in the corner and look pretty. It is not going to be something that you're going to interact with on a daily basis. So don't waste your money trying to make it the most ultra comfortable, ultra expensive piece because it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Now on to the jewelry of the room. If you don't spend money on anything else in your space, lighting is the place to spend it. Cheap lighting is the easiest way to devalue a room. You want to elevate the design, but cheap lighting is instantly gonna ruin it. Everything in the room can cost a million dollars, but if you have a cheap ass chandelier hanging above it, it is instantly gonna look cheap. Lighting acts like jewelry. You wanna make sure that it is a statement piece, it is something made of good quality materials, beautiful crystal, and it gives off beautiful light so that everybody in this space looks beautiful. After all, if you look like a fucking zombie in the room, who's gonna wanna be in that space? Nobody. And if it's still not clicking for you, I have a whole video on layers of lighting that I will link down below just for you. Now on to another saver, entryway rugs. This is something that I see time and time again as a mistake in my clients' homes, where you spend an obscene amount of money on a huge, beautiful entryway rug. The reality is that the entryway rug is going to get beat the fuck up from all the dirt from outside, the dogs coming in, your kids coming home from school, whatever the case may be. That is not the place to spend money on a rug. You want a rug that you can easily clean or easily throw away if it gets destroyed, as opposed to something that costs thousands of dollars and is gonna get ruined in such a short period of time. Could you imagine taking time out of your busy ass day to go get a rug professionally dry cleaned? I don't think so. Save that coin, sis. Now onto another splurge. This one is near and dear to my heart and I have spoken about it many, many times, artwork. Artwork is so important to make sure that you spend the money on some beautiful pieces that really speak to who you are as an individual. Support small artists and local artists. Mass-produced art that is cheap and easily obtainable is never going to give the same effect as something that is handmade and made with passion. You really wanna have art in your home that reflects who you are, your lifestyle, your interests, the colors that you love, not something that they have 10 multiples of sitting at home with. That is never gonna give you the designer look. And honestly, if your neighbor has the same piece of art hanging above their sofa, then what the fuck are you doing? And if you're really on a tight budget, I mean, go to Michael's and grab some art supplies and make something DIY. Bonus splurge, just because I can't stop spending your fucking coins. 
Listen, door handles are definitely something worth investing in. When you're interacting with the door, the weight of the door is what makes it feel luxurious. So if you have a heavy door handle that is made out of good materials and really has a very nice feel to it, it is gonna instantly elevate the experience of opening any door in your home and make your home feel more expensive overall. Plus, if you really need a valid excuse to go buy a big, nice, thick door handle, think about this. The robbers who are planning on robbing your house, are they gonna come in and break in using those little jiggly gold handles or a nice, thick, sturdy door handle? I think it's gonna be those gold, shitty-ass ones that you get at Home Depot, but I mean, that's just my opinion. If you can pick it with a bobby pin, it is not for you. I hope this video helps you figure out where to save and splurge your money. And if you're still looking for a place to spend your money, I have an Amazon storefront, and she will be linked below. Until next time, remember to elevate everyday experiences. This has been your favorite luxury interior designer. Now get the fuck out of here.